Now clearly, as you just saw, we are looking at the paintbrush change. I'll be teaching you guys that today. So if you love color changes, I have taught a plethora of color changes here on the channel. So make sure to check out the playlist below if you want to check out the rest of them and subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified when I put out a new tutorial every single Sunday. Let's get into this one right now. Now clearly, the paintbrush change is a beautiful looking move. It does look fun with these cards right here, the Alice in Wonderland cards, and I'll leave them in the description below for 10% off, but let's get into this tutorial. So what you're going to want to know how to do first is a double lift. If you don't know how to do a double lift, there's many tutorials. So once you do a double lift, if you don't know what a double lift is, it's just taking two cards and presenting them like they're one, right? The Russian Genius has probably my favorite one, so I'd check that one out. Although it is sad that he stopped uploading for whatever reason. So you take and turn over two cards right here and you'll catch a break so that way you can hold both cards right here. So you just catch and put your pinky in there like that. Now once you have this, you're going to pick it up from the side. I like to do it with my three fingers, not my pinky on the back side along edge and my thumb on the front, on the face along edge. Okay, So you have two cards here, These, this is your hand position, and then your left hand is in mechanics grip here with your thumb down the long edge, index on top, and your other three fingers on the other side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start here as if you're going to do a KM move and you're just going to line it up with the bottom of the deck. You're going to go down, line it up, and you're going to basically go flat to the deck and then peel up and nothing happens. You do it a second time and nothing happens. And then on the third time, which I'll explain why you do it multiple times in a second, it's a psychology trick. On the third time, you're going to take this card and you're going to bend it back with, and your thumb is going to release it so it's going to pop. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's here, you're going to see, see how that popped. Now you're not going to do it so far away that it actually works right and it looks like a, a cool color change. But when you're getting closer, you're going to want to do it pretty much on the card here. But it's just going to pop like that and right there. So let me grab a different card because now those are starting to get bent. FYI, don't use really thin cards uh, when you're doing this move. So this probably isn't the best for this. I will leave some more thicker stocked cards uh, down in the description below as well, alongside these cards just because they're gorgeous and I like them, right? So again, use thicker cards. It will bend them a little bit depending on how hard uh, you do this move and how many times, right? So you have your double lift here. You're going to do it one, two, and on the third time you're getting here. And as you're right here, that's when you're going to do the pop. Now, one, angles is important, okay? Because if you're here, and you, you can still be caught doing it here. So what I'd do is I'd turn a little bit so that they see more of the back design. Now when you actually do the move, you now have a different card, okay? So one is the angle. Make sure they're seeing it from this side. Not really from this side because then they don't actually see anything happen. It just looks like, right? Like technically it still would look good, but I just don't like it as much. I probably wouldn't do it if I were you. Now the other thing is, why do you do it three times? This is a psychology trick. You're training their brain to see something that never happens. A good example of this is a move right here. So I'll show you like this. So we're gonna take the six of clubs. I'm just gonna wave my hand over it. Just like this. Okay, go ahead and tell me uh, where the Six of Clubs is. Of course, you'd say on the top of the deck or wherever it is, but of course, it's in my hand, right? So I'll do it again. Okay, go ahead and tell me where the Six of Clubs is. This time, you're probably guessing in my hand, and you'd be right, right? So let me try it again. No, it's actually not in my hand. It's gone, right? So then it's a fun way of do it, taking an old move that most people know, the Erdnase change and doing it multiple times and creating a more routine out of it. But you're doing the same thing over and over to train their brain to see something that doesn't happen. When I do this move here, I'm training your brain to think he's gonna palm it, he's gonna palm it, he's gonna palm it, and then that, that, that last time, I don't do that. It's the same concept with this. You're doing the same move, it just looks like you're flip, going right over it, going right over it, and the one time you do a move, but their brain is so trained to see the one thing, it's already happened before it happened in their head. Right? It's the same thing that I do with the KM change or the friction change that I don't know the actual name of it. So, um, so again, super fun move. So we have the four of clubs here and I like to say that I try to apply uh, friction to it, right? But again, that, that would be a paintbrush change. I don't know why I did that one again. Um, KM change looks like this. So here's their card basically the same th same concept except for this time it is um, more phased up instead so 
that's the KM change or the friction change. It does leave you a little bit less um, clean. The paintbrush change leaves you completely clean. But I'll leave that with the card sheet with the card color change playlist in the description. So you can check out that one as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So if you guys want to check out these playing cards or anything else in the shop, it's all 10% off. This is Card Perfect. Signing off. Huh. Two offs in a row. Next to that.